A few hours after the sounds of the explosions died down and the exchange of fire over the Israel-Lebanon border ended, new sounds disturbed the quiet in Lebanon. Celebrations of the attack on the Israeli military. If Israel kills any of our brothers in Syria, we will respond to this killing in Lebanon and not in Shaba farms. After promising a response so loudly, his Bala chief Hassan Nasrallah had to deliver. And on the internet at least, he did it big. Minutes after the incident, this photo was uploaded by Nasrallah's son, Jawad. We promised a response and we delivered, it said simply. Jawad hashtagged it with a popular phrase among Hezbollah supporters, If you'll be back, we will too. The hashtag led to many other happy responses, all implying how big the victory over Israel was and giving credit to Nasrallah. <laughs> the ecstatic atmosphere in Lebanon was based on seemingly accurate reports about injuries to Israeli soldiers. But Hezbollah fell for a clever Israeli ruse. I can inform you we have no casualties, no injuries. Not even a scratch. But Hezbollah didn't know it at the time. This video of Israeli casualties being evacuated carried the commentary, the resistance could have wiped these injured soldiers, but decided not to do so. Hezbollah supporters also uploaded pictures of Israeli vehicles destroyed in the attack. Except they weren't. The photos are from a previous attack by Hezbollah back in 2015. Hezbollah-affiliated journalist working in the Arabic media made a big play about the supposed Israeli casualties. But the reports were wrong. Hezbollah scored no hits among Israeli soldiers, but it did score big among public opinion in Lebanon. And if that was one of its aims in opening Fire Sunday, then mission accomplished.